Project Veritas has just released part three of their series, Rigging the Election, and it may implicate Hillary Clinton directly. Hey everybody, Tim Cast here, and the latest video from James O'Keefe called Rigging the Election, Creamer confirms Clinton's involvement. Now, the video itself is about 15 minutes long, so I wanna give you a quick rundown of what we've seen so far with these Veritas videos. In the first two videos, we saw two men, Scott Fovel and Robert Creamer, bragging about how they either incite violence or can commit voter fraud. They engage in a practice called bird dogging, and that's where they hire activists to go into these Trump rallies to incite violence generating negative press for Trump. The second video, we hear them talking about how they don't necessarily bus people in, but they can rent cars for people and send them to various places because who's gonna catch you if you commit voter fraud? Now in the latest video, we hear Scott Fovel, Robert Creamer, and a few other people talking about a campaign they put on they called Donald Ducks, where people wearing Donald Duck costumes followed around Trump at various rallies demanding he release his tax returns. Now, hearing that a super PAC is engaging in these kind of stunts isn't too alarming, but what is alarming is that, according to the leaked audio, Robert Kramer said they originally wanted to do a campaign where Uncle Sam would follow around Trump, saying, I want you to release your tax returns. But according to the leaked audio, Christina Reynolds, the Deputy Communications Director for Hillary for America, contacted Kramer and said, the good news is, the candidate, she wants a mascot following around Trump. The bad news, she wants the ducks. There's another quote from Creamer where he says, if the future president of the United States wants ducks on the ground, we'll put ducks on the ground. If that's true, if this you know, off the record leaked conversation is in, is in fact true, it directly implicates Clinton in violating campaign coordination laws. And even if Christina Reynolds was speaking for herself. It's still the Clinton campaign coordinating with super PACs. The video also goes on to show Robert Creamer and Scott Fovel talking about how originally this was going to be a DNC operation, but because there was a fear of lawsuits from Disney for wearing the Donald Duck costumes, they moved it to the super PAC Americans United for Change. So here's, here's what I can say right now. Just because people are on camera saying something happened doesn't make it true. For all we know, these guys were just bragging and trying to sound really cool and trying to sound like they're, you know, badasses. But, you know, my opinion on the matter is not really what's, what's important. What's, what's important is that there is leaked audio from private conversations showing these people say these things and you have to take it at face value. This definitely should be the start of a conversation and I definitely think it's time to start investigating the claims these people are making. I implore you to look into this further, do your own research because this is an extremely complicated issue but the most important thing is not to just immediately disregard it. James O'Keefe, he's been challenged in the past for his methods and according to CNN he's been discredited. But you need to watch it, you need to figure out what you think and you know, allow me to just give you a quick rundown and introduction. So I'm gonna leave it at that for now. I'll have the link to the Project Veritas video just below. Make sure to like, share, and subscribe if you like my videos. You can follow me on Twitter at TimCast. Also make sure to follow Subverse at It's Subverse. Check out subverse.net. Thank you all so much for watching. I will see you all next time.